Hello Kamath Nerders! This is the part 5 of 2019 MTOP Reviewer Grade 7. Dito na tayo sa number 21. A rectangular lot has length equal to 5 less than twice its width. One of the longer sides is against the wall so that only the three remaining sides needed fencing material. Find the dimensions of the lot if 35 meters of fencing material were used. So ang ating solution dito guys is, ito yung rectangular lot. So nakita nyo guys yung may color blue. This is the length na against the wall. So ito walang fence. Itong may yellow, itong, itong three sides na to. Yun yung may fence. Pero ito wala. Kasi nga, may wall dito sa blue na to. So, ang ating length, asabi sa problem, a rectangular lot has length equal to 5 less than twice its width. So, yung length is 5 less than twice its width. So, working backwards yan ha. Hindi 5 minus 2W ha. Kundi 5 less than twice its width. Kung mali yung equation agad, Balik na agad yung uh, isa-substitute natin. Balik na lahat. So, dapat doon pa lang tama na tayo. Okay. So, yung tinatanong, find the dimensions of the lab. Ahalamin uh, natin kung anong dimension. L times W. Kung 35 meters daw yung nagamit na fencing material. So, nakita nyo, perimeter. This is the perimeter, di ba? Apat side, four sides sana. Pero may wall kasi dito sa blue na to. Kaya yung tatlo na lang yung sinabi na 35, yung fencing material na ginamit is 35 meters. So, ang gagawin natin dito guys, ito yung originally na formula ng rectangle, no? Pero dahil nga may, yung isang side ay may wall, so isang L lang yung gagamitin natin dito, ha? So, alam natin yung P, 35 meters. Substitution, so yung L is 2W minus 5. Plus 2W to width. Yeah. So 35 meters equals. So 2W plus 2W is 4W minus 5. So yung i-transpose natin to sa kabila. So 40. So 35 plus 5 is 40 meters equals 4W. Divided by 4, both sides, para makancel natin yung 4, may iwan lang din W. So, the width is 10 meters. Meron na tayong isang uh, side. Hahanapin natin yung length. So, using this formula, yung equation natin na nag-derive sa problem. So, substitution yung W. So, L equals 2 times 10. Minus 5. So, L equals 2 times 10 is 20. Minus 5 is 15. So, L is 15 meters. So, meron na tayong width which is 10 meters. Therefore, 10 meters times 15 meters. So, ang tinatanong kasi sa problem... Find the dimensions of the lot. So, this is the final answer. This is the dimension ng lot. Pero kung tinatanong what is the find the length and the width, eh, di indicate natin L equals 15 meters, W equals 10 meters. Pero ang tinatanong kasi, find the dimensions. Okay, dito tayo sa problem number 22. The problem is, the advertised prices of goods in a clothes store include a 12% value-added tax. How much goes to tax for a shirt with a tag price of 392 pesos? So, ang ating clue dito, alam natin na ang total price is 392 pesos. Ngayon, ang total price ay nakuha sa pamamagitan ng base price plus 12% VAT. Big sabihin, base price plus base price times 0.12. Saan natin nakuha yung 0.12? Kasi ang 12% is equivalent to 0.12. So, ang ating one base price, kasi whole number, no? Yung base price, buo siya. Plus 0.12 na base price, yun yung total price. 
So 1 BP plus 0.12 BP equals total. So 1 plus 0.12 is 1.12 BP equals total. Divide both sides by 1.12. 1 1.12. So base price equals equivalent to. Para makuha natin ang base price, dapat natin i-divide ang 392 pesos sa 1.12. So, paano mag-divide ng may decimal? Ganito guys. 392 divided by 1.12. So, first is, i-move natin to 2 decimal places. So, dito, kung nag-add tayo dun dito, mag-add din tayo dito sa loob. So, add 0. So, pwede na tayo mag-divide ng whole number. Si 392 divided by 112 is 3. 3 times 2, 6. 3 times 11, 33. So, minus. 12 minus 6 is 6. Ito, nag tayo. So, maging 8. 8 minus 3, 5. 560. 560 divided by 112 is 5. 5 times 12 is 60. 5 times 1 is 5. So, 0. 0 divided by 112 is 0. 0. So, ito yung base price natin. 350 pesos. Alam mo na kung ano yung base price niya. So, para malaman kung ilan yung VAT, edi eh ima-minus mo lang siya dun sa 392. So, yung step 2, step 2, subtract. So, 392 Minus 350 kasi yung total price minus yung base price. Para malaman mo kung ilan yung VAT. 42. So this is the final answer. 42 pesos. Huwag natin kakalimutan yung ating peso sign na. Okay, dito tayo ngayon sa problem number 23. The measures of the angles of a triangle are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4. What is the measure of the largest angle? So, ang alam natin na sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So, ang gagawin natin solution, 2x plus 3x plus 4x equals 180. So, 2 plus 3, 5 plus 4, 9. So, 9x equals 180. Divide both sides by 9. So, x equals 180 divided by 9 is 20. So, ito yung pinaka parang base niya. So, itatimes nyo natin siya sa 4. So, 4x kasi largest. Ang tinatanong, 4x equals, question mark, 4 times 20 equals 80. So, the final answer is 80 degrees. Ito yung angle ng pinaka malaking angle sa triangle. 80 degrees. So, next problem please. Dito na tayo sa number 24. The regular admission rate for a musical is 850 pesos. For students, senior citizens, persons with disability, the discounted price is 400 pesos. The number of tickets sold at the regular rate is 220, less than twice the number sold at the discounted rate. If the total sales is 590,000 pesos, how many tickets were sold at the discounted rate? So, meron tayong mga given dito guys, no? Ang given dito is ang regular, to is 220, less than twice the number sold at discounted. So, regular equals 2 times discounted rate minus 220. Ito yung number of tickets na nabenta. Tapos, uh, bawat ticket nito ay 850 pesos. Ang discounted rate naman ay 400 pesos. Kaya ang total sales nila ay 590,000 pesos. So, sa ating solution, total equals regular sales plus discounted sales. So, ilan yung total substitution? 590,000 pesos equals ilan yung regular sales? So, i-ano muna natin to Gawin natin D in discounted. So, 2D minus 220. Lagyan natin yung parenthesis kasi kada niyan is 850 daw. Yung ticket kada, isang ticket. Plus, ilan? 400 pesos times D or 400D. So, para masolve ito, pwede nating masolve, no? Kayang-kaya na. 
distributive property. So, 590,000 pesos equals 850 times 2D is 1,700 D. So, 850 times 220 is minus 187,000. Okay, plus 400 D. So, ang gagawin natin dito is kukombine natin itong 1,700D tapos 400D. Tapos ito, ilipat natin sa kabila. So, 590,000 pesos minus 187,000 equals 1,700 plus 400 is 21, 2,100D. So, ito ay minus natin guys, 590,000 minus 187,000 is 700, I mean mali. So, itong 187,000 kapag nilipat dito sa kabila, magiging positive. Okay? So, 590,000 pesos plus 187,000 is 777,000 pesos. Equals 2,1,2,100D divided by 2,100 divided by 2,100. Cancel. D equals ilan? 370. Tickets. Cancel na ito no? 370 tickets. So, ang tanong, how many tickets were sold at the discounted rate? So, 370, guys. So, nakuha nyo ba, guys? Una, bring down mo natin yung mga given. So, yung fab, sabi doon, 220, less than twice. So, less than twice. So, uh, working backwards yun. Less than twice the discounted rate. So, 2 times discounted minus 220. Tapos yung discounted 400. Total sales. Substitution dito. Tapos nakuha natin yung 370. So, the final answer is there are 370 tickets sold at the discounted rate. So, kahit 370 lang. O para mas sure, 370 tickets. Next problem, please. Last but not the least, ang tanong natin sa so number 25. Baby Arya's birth weight is 5 pounds and 8 ounces. Estimate her weight in kilograms to the nearest tenth if 1 pound is equivalent to 0.45 kilograms and 1 ounce is equivalent to 0.03 kilograms. Yun guys, it times lang natin. Ganito, 5 pounds over 1 times 0.45 kilograms over 1 pound. So yung pound, makakancel na yung unit niya na pound. Ang matitira na lang, 5 times 0 0.45 kilograms. So the answer is 2.25 kilograms. How about this one? 8 ounce over 1 times 0 0.03 kilograms over per 1 ounce. So cancel yung ounce. So 8 times 0 0.03 is 0 0.24 kilograms. So, ito, i-add natin, guys. So, kilogram. 5 plus 4 is 9. 2 plus 2 is 4. Point. 2 plus 0 is 2. So, sabi dito sa tanong, estimate her weight in kilograms to the nearest tenth. So, ito yung tenth. Tenth. Ang susunod, hundredth. Ito yung tenth. Walang ones. Yung ones, dun sa whole number lang siya. Yung place value na ones ay sa whole number lang siya. Sa so decimal, tenth agad magsisimula. Tenth, hundredth, thousandth, and ten thousandth. Yan, may th sa dulo. So, 2.49, i-round off natin to. Restimate. So, 2.5 kilograms. Pag i-round off mo siya, no? So, this is the final Answer. Hindi 2.49 kasi malinaw na sinabi sa problem. Estimate her weight to the nearest tenth.
Okay, so 2.5 kilograms. Okay, so maraming salamat sa panood ng video na ito. Kung nagustuhan mo, please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Learn Math Beach. Para lagi kang updated, kapitorn on mo na rin in our notification bell. O kung gusto mong mag-suggest ng next topic kung anong hangtop reviewer ang gusto mo tackle natin, please comment down below. At kung may, may mga topics sa math ka na mas nahihirapan ka doon, please comment din. Balay mo yun ang next natin gawing topic. So maraming salamat ulit. At laging tanda na ating outro message. Every problem, there is and there's always has a solution. So, love lots, keep smiling, and keep learning. Bye!